Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to this game's tutorial. Today we actually make this scene work. So um, in the last episode we just modeled it a bit, we uh, put them together. Now we're gonna we're gonna make it work. So if we click here, this is the abilities. We see this thing in the background. That's cool. Same thing here. You know we have the right camera angle too, and that's pretty much what we want. So right here when we do research, we actually see the little books down there, and the chest. Same thing. We're gonna see like the glowing objects in it. Research table is quite obvious, it's right here. And uh, finally, the, the share center, right here. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, guys. Without further ado, let's actually get started. Alrighty, so we're gonna open up the hub scene, and uh, pretty much all we have in the back here has to be transferred in the front. And there is a lot of things. So all of these, like the object and also the collider, they have to be transferred. Now, of course, we're not transferring the mesh and that is perfectly fine. We're gonna go ahead and just do that one by one. Um, so the first object is right here. It's the wire table waypoint. Now there's two ways we can go about this. Is actually like put that on top of the hub scene, which would be good. Or we can just be putting it right here and we're just gonna deal with that. Now, um, the way I'd like to do this is by actually implementing everything on the actual object so say we need to change the position of the wire table then we don't actually have to move two objects we can only uh, move one so that's what I think we're gonna be doing and uh, let's actually get started right away with the wire table alright so I'm simply going to collapse pretty much everything so my view is not really uh, filled with stuff I have the wire table and I have the new wire table what I'll do is just click and hold on the hub object and put it right here we're going to do the same exact thing for the box collider. Well, actually, I don't think we can. Okay, so once that is done, um, just remove the waypoint and delete the wire table. Now, we end up with something like this. We can actually just create a box collider. And then we need to make sure this actually wraps the whole thing. And this is really annoying with the light, so I'll just turn it off. And I think that's good. So if you press somewhere here, that includes the bottom, well, in the middle here, in the gap, you are going to be redirected to the wire table. Alright, so now this wire table has the collider. Now it needs to actually have a waypoint because the waypoint right now is just set um, it's set somewhere else, somewhere right right here with a weird rotation. Let's actually just go in our scene. Right now I'm using the Doom controls, which is uh, that is done by holding the right click and then you using the WASD keys. You can go ahead and just find a way to make this look good. Now uh, you know the wire table menu just it appears in the center. What we can do is actually go somewhere, say right like that, that, make sure that it views both the wire table and the chest. Maybe, yeah, that would be cool. So both the wire table and the chest, and maybe like a glimpse of the research table. So once you have your good angle, you're gonna choose the wire table waypoint, go over to game objects, and you're gonna do a line view to select it. Actually, no, you're gonna do a move to view. And uh, the wire table now, quit! So once you have the right angle and also the right vision, you're going to be choosing your wire, uh, wire table waypoint up here. You're going to go under Edit, Assets, I mean Game Object, and you're going to do Align with View. Now this game object should just be assuming the position you add with your camera. And now we end up with something like that. So let's quickly just test this out, see we have, if uh, we haven't broken any reference. And if we click right here, doesn't seem to work at the very moment so there is something like intercepting my clicks or there is something just not working at all so when I click on this oh and I think it is because the object is not tagged as a hub object and I think this is it yeah so what is oh right here is the layer actually so you need the hub object layer now if you click as you can tell we zoom towards the hub table we see the whole thing and we kind of have a glimpse of what's going on in the background as well all right Back in our hub scene, choose the table, put the hub object, and we can we can just go ahead and just do that for every single object we have. So the table is done. The next one we have to do would be. Um, oh wait, I think we're gonna be keeping the same layout by the way we had before. So take the wire table waypoint and just put it as a children of the wire table. This way we can actually clean the scene up a little bit at the same time. Second. Let's go with the share center. So the share center is over here. I'm going to be pulling the 
uh, waypoint outside. Actually, you know what? Let's actually put the war, uh, the, uh, the the waypoint inside of the share poster right away. I'm going to drag and hold this hub object, put it on the poster, and now this thing needs a box collider. And um, just to make it easy for the mobile user, I'll just put the size a little bit bigger. Not crazy bigger, but like say, um, it has some weird scaling values that's a little bit annoying, but something like that would be good. And also on this axis too. And this axis as well. Alright, so we have more room to click on it. Make sure that this share poster has the ob object on it. Uh, I mean, the ob object layer. I'm having trouble talking right now. I've been talking for way too long today. And let's actually have a zoom on that. So how exactly should we go about doing this? Maybe this kind of angle would be cool. So we see the poster on the left side. And then we see the chest. And then, again, a glimpse at the research table. So once you've got your nice angle, you're going to go under Game Object and then Align with View. And now <laughs> I'm actually doing this, but um, the view is actually going to be something like that since you're in portrait mode. So I think what we should actually do is swap these over, have the game scene somewhere, I don't really care, and just make sure the size of this matches the resolution of your phone. All right. This is a more accurate view of the scene. Alright, so everything should be done here. Next one, we delete the share center, the old one of course. The next one is going to be, say, the uh, tower stats. Now the tower stats, we're going to be putting it on the tower stats right here, but you know, that's only the base. So what we are going to end up doing, um, once I transfer everything, is just have a bigger collider here. So you see, we don't have a collider right now, we're just going to be putting a box collider. But this thing, the box collider, is going to have a different size, especially on the z-axis. That's what we're trying to modify here. Um, that's not big enough, of course. That could be perfect, actually. But the only problem we have to this is uh, if we click at the bottom of the stairs, it's actually going to go through and um, hit that. So we'll have to move the center of that collider as well. Just crank it up a little bit. And maybe something like that would work fine. Okay, now for the tower stats waypoint, um, maybe we can have it looking at tower from this angle, so you're from the stairs. It's really up to you, to be honest. We're going to be like catching a good glimpse at the roof, but it's either that or we catch a good glimpse at what we see behind. Yeah, that could be good. Let's actually just put it right here. Right, so I have the tower stats selected. Go under game object, align with view. And we just keep going like that. So, what is the next one? Research. Put that on the research table. Research waypoint goes as a children. We delete this. And let's actually keep going. So, box collider right there. Increment the size of this by a little bit. This could be good. And, um, yeah. Find a good angle for this. What is the best angle for this research table? I'm thinking about something really close to book. Maybe that would be good. Alright, take the research waypoint, align it with you, and we've got another one done. So we've got two more, the loot and also the uh, ability. Going to be choosing my loot. My loot is actually the chest. That's a weird name, but um, <laughs> that's what I put. And uh, let's quickly also do the ability while we're here. Drag and drop that script and put the new waypoint as a children. Alright, so where's my chest? My chest is right there. Box collider on this thing again. And now let's have a look at it. I think it's pretty much the good size. We can actually leave it like that. And in terms of the waypoint, um, something again really close, something maybe like that. I wouldn't hate if you like that. Align with you, and finally the ability waypoint, and also the ability um, box collider. 
Again, this is a good size and we can actually just put that right here. Choose the waypoint, align with you. And I think our scene is pretty much ready if we actually play this. Let's have a look at this and hopefully we don't have any weird angles or you know, have anything weird going on. Now this is what you would see in your game. I can actually do a maximize on play. Well, let's actually just look at it from here. If we click on the word table, we zoom in, we see these things in the background, that's good. We go away, click on the chest, this is what we see. So it's really hard, but there's going to be like a lot of shiny stuff in here. Then the share center, we barely see the share center. That's kind of, that kind of sucks, but you know, we don't have a lot of space to actually see it. Now the research table. This is actually good. Ability, same thing. It's going to be a lot of lightning and also rotating effect here. Plus, we also see like a little bit of alpha through that. So we're going to be able to see the gem rotating and hovering. And finally, this thing here. Might be something wrong. Hmm. I'm not quite sure. Well, of course, the, the thing is not really centered. So that's going to be annoying, but what we can do is um, have the camera facing the other way. Now, I'm not, I'm not quite sure if it's going to look good or not, but I think we can actually figure it out. If we just pause this and play with the camera a bit. Yeah, we can be putting our camera something like that. And then this object in the back would rotate. So what I'll do is actually just keep that like it is right now. Maybe center it a little bit more. Now, right now I'm on pause. So what I'll do is I'll right click on transform, copy component, quit the game, go back to the menu, I mean the hub, and then find the tower stats, hub object, and the waypoint, right click on its transform and paste component values. So technically, it should not be where it is right now. Okay, hmm. It's at a real, really weird spot right now for some reason. So we're gonna have to fix that. Let's go back to our object. And I'll just assume, try to assume the same pose I had. Which was something like this around that. Take my tower stats waypoint and align it with view. Alright, well guys, that is going to be pretty much it for this episode, I know it's a small episode, but it is a needed one, and I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, please leave me a like, really appreciate that, if you have any comment or question, please also leave them in the comment section below, other than that, just check out the Patreon page if you wish to support me, I will also uh, answer a question on Facebook a little bit faster, so if you want to actually ask something, you should go through that. Anyway guys, thanks a lot for watching again, and I will see you in the next one.